shark expert, a shark expert and a filmmaker. He's made an acclaimed documentary. Uh, it's available on the DVD. It's called Shark Water. Take a look at this. You're told your whole life since you're a kid, sharks are dangerous. You're warned about venturing too far into the ocean. But then finally you're underwater and you see the thing that you were taught your whole life to fear. And it's perfect. And it doesn't want to hurt you. And it's the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. And your whole world changes. Oh. oh. <laughs> Please welcome Rob Stewart, everybody. Rob Stewart. First of all, first of all, let me just uh, apologise for Chris Catan saying that Rod Stewart stuff. Uh, I'm sure you've never heard that before about people saying. A couple thousand times. Really? Since people. Four. People talk. Well, yeah. Rod Stewart, and then I show up. What the hell? <laughs> Do you ever think about getting maybe some leopard skin pants and singing a song or two? Just thinking so, yeah. Spiking my hair up a little yeah, bit, dancing around. Yeah, a little bit, you know. Yeah. Why not? You just give the people what they want. Maybe that way I can fund shark conservation. Yeah, well, there you go. That's you, how you fund your shark conservation. Sometimes, you, if you want to save the planet, you have to dress in le leopard pants. I can do that. Right. The, the, these uh, sharks you were with there, was that the uh, Caribbean reef shark right there? Yeah, that was the Caribbean reef shark. I've done that with them. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, yeah, sure. they were. Uh, was that in uh, the Bahamas? That was in the Bahamas, Was yeah. that uh, with the divers out of Stuart Cove there? No, Stuart that Cove? was in Freeport. All oh, right, okay. Different group. But I've I been think to... the sharks in the Bahamas, the Caribbean reef sharks, I think they're a bit tarty. They're, yeah, they're used to people. Yeah, they've they been, they've been hug, fed for... they hug a lot of people, although, you know, yeah, I'm not saying you're not attractive. I'm just saying, well, uh, you know... <laughs> No. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Just saying, that's all. Anyway, so the... But it's not normally an aggressive shark, the reef shark, is it? No, no, they're pretty calm. Yeah? Yeah, they're designed to eat fish. Teeth shaped like needles, can't really, you know, bite off chunks larger than their mouths. Oh, but some sharks have serrated teeth designed yeah. to eat things bigger than their mouths. Bigger than their mouth? Yeah. You should uh. go diving with those. No, I don't think I should. <laughs> You can't just settle for the little ones. They were not little. It's a 14-foot Caribbean reef shark. That's, that's big enough for me. I, I, I did it. Do you have the clip of me doing it? Then go, go ahead, then. Look, show, look at you must have there fed every shark in the Bahamas. I even got a shark tooth souvenir. That was the... Now, and when, the, when they got the, uh, the tooth, they, they just fall out, don't they? The yeah. Sharks I don't know if that was 14 feet long. Anybody? Hey. Maybe. Hey. hey. Maybe that, six not feet. that specific one. The but there was one no, there. there. It was there. You know, they yeah. were there. They were big. Yeah. No, just, really, yeah. Just didn't see it on bigger, camera. Bigger, bigger than your sharks. Yeah. <laughs> Have you gone diving I'm... with the with the uh, the great whites or the bull sharks or the yeah. tigers or lemons? Have you done all yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. And you oh. should come with us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you do that? Uh, bull sharks and tiger sharks, Bahamas. Yeah. Uh, great white sharks in Mexico. Now, the great whites and the bulls have got a reputation for being extremely aggressive. Is that warranted? Is that actually true? Not, not extremely aggressive. I mean, right. every year, people go swimming more than 7 billion times. Right. And there's about 60 to 90 shark bites a year, making sharks some of the least harmful large predators the planet has. Right. So, I mean, that reputation of being aggressive, sure, but, you know, it's a little unfounded. Well, it's a large, it's a large uh, predator with big teeth. So, uh, you know, you get yeah. in the way, you're going to get in trouble. For but, sure. I mean, bears are the same. People, it's not like, oh, bear week. You know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. Right. Yeah. And you're, you're not going to go for a run next to a pride of lions and expect to come out of it okay. Right, exactly. Right? You wouldn't do that, yeah. Although that would be fun. Yeah. <laughs> You can do that next. No, 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 I wouldn't do that. But it would be fun. You should do that. You're the thrill seeker. Now, that would be crazy, though. That would be crazy, yeah. Yeah. Did you ever uh, do the riding the, uh, on the fin of the great white shark? You ever done that? Never done the riding on the fin. Yeah. No, not Probably really my gig. That, huh? I, I, don't think, I don't think they want to be ridden. No, probably not. No. No, no. Now, you're a, a conservationist as well. You work in, uh, you know, conserving sharks. Yeah, shark populations have dropped 90% in 30 years. And Holy crap, I didn't know it was that bad. Yeah, nobody knows, nobody cares, because the shows no, no, no. like ones you do. No, no, that's not true. I didn't exploit the sharks. I showed how lovely they were. I wasn't trying to make them look like hideous predators. It wasn't like, oh, here comes a monster. I was like, look, it's adorable. That's what I was doing. Yeah. I don't know. Every commercial break, it was da 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 da. Hey, fighting. guess what, sugar? I don't get to decide the commercials, oh, you know? Okay, okay. Bunch your names on it. Yeah. Uh, 
Okay. All right. Well, you know. Yeah, sharks are in trouble. And, yeah. you know, the oceans give us 70% of the oxygen in the air that we breathe, and we're taking the most important large predator out of that ecosystem without regards to the consequences. And, and that, I think, is a big issue. Is. And the, the finning is the worst part of it, I think. Finning, yeah. They pull sharks, cut off their fins, and throw the rest of the body back. They kill 100 million sharks that way every year. That's awful, isn't it? I really, really, I really, really hate that. What kind of sharks do they do that to? Everything. Everything from whale Any sharks. Any shark at all? Whale sharks, great whites, basking sharks, Caribbean reef sharks. Really? They see, yeah. that's just wrong, isn't it? Yeah. It is, I, I yeah. Don't know why I, I, I find that so abhorrent. The fact that they take the. Because the shark can't swim with it, it just dies, it drowns. It right? dies, yeah. Sometimes yeah. it can take days to die. Yeah. Dies. Really unfortunate. No, no, it's terrible. But it's turning around. Hawaii just banned uh, all sale and possession and trade in shark fins. Really? So, so that's a precedent we can exploit throughout the rest of the world. Things are going to change like that, like, the, like it has with, you know, other issues. What do you think about the, the stuff that goes on in the Bahamas like I did, where, you know, essentially tourists go and dive with, with sharks? Do you think that's, uh, you think it's good or bad? Do you think it's... A, I think it's amazing. Oh, you know, you do. The only people that are afraid of sharks are people that have never met one underwater. Mm. Like, you're probably significantly less afraid of sharks now that you've been underwater. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. That's true. I, I, I was never particularly afraid of them. I always knew I could avoid them by not getting into the water, but... <laughs> but the... Yeah. But when I was in the water, at a certain point, I've got to be honest, during the dives, we did a few dives to make the show, and, I, and at a certain point, I thought, you know, this is enough. I, this is their place, and if I stay here, yeah, I'm going to get bit. You're yeah. ready for bigger sharks now? No, no, I don't think so. I don't think I ever have to dive with sharks again. I, I don't mind, I'll dive, and if I see a shark, I'll be like, oh, a shark, nice. But I don't have to go looking for them. It's like, you know, it's like... You didn't like it? Oh, I liked fun. it a lot, but I liked it a lot, but I like diving, and I like other things like, you know, little plants and flowers, and... Ah, uh, fluffy bunnies Fluffy and bunnies, fairies, yeah, yeah. There's not tails. a lot of bunnies down there, but when they are... Lazy that's boys. Lazy, a lazy boy underwater, now you're talking. Yeah. I bet lazy boys kill more people than sharks do. Vending machines kill more people than you sharks know, that's, do. That's a possibility, I suppose, indirectly. I don't think anyone's ever been attacked by it. But I, I hear what you're saying, the kind of a sedentary lifestyle perhaps is more dangerous than a shark attack. Is this what you're saying? Oh, for sure. Every year, vending machines kill more people than sharks do. But not in the same way. Not, no. Right. No, 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 no. But that would be an awesome movie. Yeah. Uh, 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 I don't want your dollar. I don't want your dollar. That'd be cool. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> They'd be impossible to bribe, much like sharks. Exactly. No negotiation. Sharks power. are very difficult to bribe. Yeah. But they are predictable. Are you afraid of any particular type of shark? No. Yeah. I mean, some you've got to be a little more conscious when you're in the water with them because they're massive. Yeah, the bull sharks always kind of spook me for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah it's because they they can swim in uh, yeah, fresh water as well. Estuaries, they go from, yeah. You know, they can go up river stuff like that and come out the faucet in your uh, <laughs> run right of the toilet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like it's, yeah. That's what Bingo. happened to you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's why I'm to Jeff. He was a shark. Yes. Yeah. He, he was killed by a vending machine. Yes. <laughs> well, that was fascinating. Thanks very much for that. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you going next? What, what, what sharks are you after next? Next, we're trying to make a movie that uh, tries to start a revolution, actually. What? Yeah. In what way do you mean? Well, uh, after we made the shark film, we right. realized that it wasn't just sharks that are being wiped out, but pretty well everything. Right. You know, from coral reefs to rainforests yeah, to the, know, our very know, food supply. Yeah. So we're trying to turn that around, via making a movie and inspiring the public. That's what I do here. I, yeah. I know, we're, we're very similar in that way. No, yeah, I try and do my little bit, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you know, knock it off everybody. Yeah, right? Yeah. I, I just a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. You know, baby steps. Yeah, right? You're, you're doing your part. Yeah. You can sleep at night. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. You want a dollar? I'd like three. That's for your, for the, because you're looking for the funding for the movie. Yep. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, what the hell? All right. Yeah, you can have all that. Yes. That's like 15 bucks right now. 15? Yeah, nice. yeah, all right. You okay. put that towards your movie. Okay. All right. Rob, Rob Stewart, everybody. We'll be right back.